In this video, I'll show you how I used an ABS plastic slurry to repair and reinforce a large item made out of ABS plastic, which in this case is the roof of our rooftop tent. So here you can see some of the worst cracks. So they were quite bad and they were getting worse over time as well. The areas where these cracks formed are thinner and weaker than the rest of the plastic. So this is why I want to not only repair the cracks, but also reinforce these areas so it doesn't happen again. I did a lot of research to work out how I was going to do this repair. A lot of people suggest fiberglass, however it apparently doesn't adhere to ABS plastic that well and can get quite messy, so I didn't want to use fiberglass. So what I ended up going with was using an ABS slurry, which is basically pieces of ABS plastic mixed with acetone and let's sit for a while until it forms a slurry. And then basically just painting on several layers of this plastic slurry to essentially build up thickness of the ABS plastic. I'm really happy with the results, it appears to have great adhesion. The cracks are sealed and watertight and the weak areas are far stronger now. To make the ABS slurry, I cut a sheet of 2mm ABS into 50 grams worth of small pieces, which are then mixed with 125 milliliters of acetone. So this ratio of ABS to acetone gave me the, the nice thick consistency that I was after. You can see here how the acetone has already taken on a grey colour as it starts to melt the plastic. Always a good idea to clean the surface before applying any sort of adhesive. I just use methylated spirits. I also used a layer of aluminium fly screen as I thought it might add some strength. Um, in hindsight, I don't think it added much strength, but it did give me something to build the ABS layers around, uh, making it easier to gauge the thickness of the ABS as I painted it on. It was just a matter of cutting and bending the aluminium fly screen to shape and size and then using pure acetone to melt the fly screen into the plastic. Next time I probably wouldn't bother with the fly screen as I think the repair would work fine without it. Here you can see the ABS slurry after it's been sitting for about 24 hours. It's a nice thick consistency so each coat should go on nice and thick. I used three coats in total just allowing each coat to dry overnight before applying the next coat. As you can see, it paints on quite nicely. Um, I found three coats added plenty of strength, but you can use as many or as few as you need. I applied a little bit extra on some of the corners and joins just to add that little bit of extra strength. So this is the second coat going on. And this is the third coat going on. Uh, here is the end result. Um, once the final coat had dried overnight, it's nice and solid. It feels much stronger than it did before. You can see how I've really built up some of the corners and edges as these were particularly prone to cracking. So ABS is a very widely used plastic and this method could be used for all sorts of ABS plastic repairs and reinforcement, um, especially where there are severe angles and shapes involved. This method does add a bit of thickness though, so just make sure you have clearance where needed for when it comes time to put things back together. Um, for this particular repair, all I had to do before putting the tent back together was re-drill the bolt holes. All up, this repair cost me about 65 Australian dollars and $20 of that was for the aluminium fly screen, which you don't necessarily need. So I had to repair four of these areas of what you can see on screen. So it's quite a cost effective repair. Um, the main downside is though, it's not very visually appealing. So you don't really want it visible. Um, but for this repair, once it's all back together, you'll never see it. So that didn't worry me. So I really hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, any questions you have, just post them in the comments and thanks for watching.